Hello there, Dr. Annette Lang here. Now you may not recognize me when I'm dressed like this, but maybe you remember me dressed like this when I presented Could You Be a World War II Kid at your school? Or maybe you remember me as I was for Gone West when pretended to go to the California Gold Rush in 1849. Or perhaps you remember seeing me in one of my other historical costumes when I visited your school. Now I'm home here in Wisconsin. I just want to take a few minutes to chat with you. There's something you may remember me talking about when I came to your school. Just in case it wasn't part of my presentation that day, let me say it again. History is all about change. And most of the time, that change happens so slowly, we don't see it happen. We only notice it many years later. What happened to that hairstyle, we wonder? Or the game that was once so popular and has now disappeared? What happened to the word everyone once used and now nobody does? But sometimes, Change happens so fast, we do notice it. Well, this is one of those times. And as you know, it's not easy. It's kind of weird and scary. And yes, adults do feel the same way about it. I'm going to talk a little about my World War II program in a moment. So if you saw me perform that at your school, hang on. First, I want to talk to those of you who participated in Gone West. You saw how many unexpected and frightening challenges we encountered as we took a journey to California during the 1849 gold rush. We had to pull our wagons across high mountains. We had to try not to run out of water as we crossed the desert. And of course, we encountered the frightening disease of cholera. But we also saw how the journey brought us new ideas and encouraged us to think differently. We learned how Plains Indians lived and we learned new respect for their ability to survive in some of America's harshest places. We saw some amazing sights from the baking soda lake to the salt desert and the beauty of this great country. We also worked together as a group, helping each other up and down hills with our wagons. And we saw how others assisted us on the way, just as they really did in 1849. To be sure, we saw the elephant again and again as we encountered disasters. We had to make sacrifices. Who can forget having to throw away our precious possessions? But we learned that everyone was valuable and everyone was needed, whether to haul wagons up the hillside, make food, pick up buffalo poop for cooking fuel, or simply to share the journey with us. If you participated in Could You Be a World War II Kid, or if you've read my first book, Don't Know Where, Don't Know When, you may remember that we learned from the Blitz and from the evacuation of British kids to the countryside during World War II, that sudden change is scary at first, but then becomes something we grow used to. And in the process, we become older and we become wiser. We learned that kids were needed during World War II to grow food and raise money for the war effort. And we learned that we can and do get used to anything. Speaking of getting used to change, have you noticed how you don't feel the same as you did last week? How things that seemed incredibly strange a few days ago, like staying home from school, are now starting to feel normal? As we get used to the change, we start to look for things to do. We start to look for ways to help to be part of what's happening. And that brings me to what I most want to say to you today. You are needed now. 
I'm not just saying that. Keep reading, because becoming educated, even while school is closed, is the most important thing you can do, not only for yourself, but for all of us, for our future together. Being educated means that you think about new ideas and find out new things. And there are so many great ways to do that. You can watch some TV documentaries online or historical dramas, for example, on PBS. I encourage you to find out what interests you though, whether it's history or not. Try things out. Most especially, and the best and most easy way to try things out, I encourage you to read. The books you read can be fiction or non-fiction, either is fine. But challenge yourself to find out things that you never knew you never knew. There are also many practical things that you can do to help. At home, do what you can to help your adults, because they need your support. Maybe you can help with cleaning, or calling older family members, or maybe you can help with preparing meals. You can also be a historian, like me. You can keep a diary of these strange times, because years from now, when you look back, you will see the change in the pages of your diary, and you'll be so glad you kept it. You can interview older family members and record those interviews. Ask them, what was life like when they were young? How is it different from life today? And what were their most challenging times when they were your age? Above all, I suggest you make sure to do a variety of activities, including things you have never done before. Try listening to new kinds of music. Make music, sing, play board games, and of course, read. Life has not stopped. It has just changed and we're adapting. It will change again. That's what history teaches us. I firmly believe better times are coming. And meanwhile, let's make the most of what all of us have. Family, friends, work and play. If you read my books, I'll be happy to chat with you about them. Contact me at annettelang.com. But first, do get your family's permission. And however you decide to spend your time and it is your decision, do know that here in Wisconsin, I'm thinking about you. Take care.